I'm Carrie-Anne Brooke-Lavelle and I'm a lead teacher at Gateshead Council um, Local Authority, which is based in the northeast of England. Um, and we're a, a team of um, specialist um, VI, HI and MSI teachers. Um, and we run um, across the age range from zero to 25. You're the positive looking, obviously mentioned zero to 25, but actually we find it really beneficial for children and young people a lot older. So that's something that we do use um, with a number of age ranges. Um, so how we use the positive looking programme, it really, um, it, it, to be honest, it's evolved quite significantly from when we first purchased it. So initially, if I'm being honest, I found it really useful for just understanding what visual behaviours I was actually looking for in order to to kind of support me in terms of the assessment side. And I know obviously it's a tra you know a visual training program, but for me, um, you know that you know how you've got every um you've got dividers in for um each aspect, yeah, visual development. So. You have right on the beginning um, a description of what you're looking for, what kind of behaviours the child might exhibit. Um, to be honest, for somebody, obviously, I was um, I was quite I was quite newly qualified, so it really helped me to understand um, the process in terms of what um, what my intervention might look like. Um, and I have to say, your observation points for me were really critical because they're tied in with the visual behaviours. So I could do my assessment, my full assessment of the children who, um, you know, who, you know, for children, as I say, for, for babies and small children, where you're looking for more, more of a play based assessment. Mm -hmm. You know, you um, you know, you're looking for things like tracking skills and things like that. But even um, it really supported me, you know, when I'm doing things like my care pictures assessments, yeah. because I'm looking. Yeah, because often, you know, you can pick up on some issues with your scanning, the scanning skills, can't you? Um, um, and obviously, you know, fixation and things. And what happened was, I think, initially it evolved, your programme kind of evolved in me, if you know what I mean. So I would have it in the back of my mind as I'm doing these assessments and I'd be like, oh, hang on a minute, that child's not doing that. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to have a look back. Can they, you know, are they actually, um, are they even, you know, um, they're not scanning, you know, can they actually track? Mm. Is that what is that what the issue is here? You know, when I'm doing these assessments, so then I would use the program alongside things like key pictures, you know, um, and just say, can that child actually scan? Um, and obviously for children with more complex needs, um, it's really a fundamental tool, to be honest, that we use in Gated. You deliberately make them so you've got your structure and then you can make them as personalised yes. as you yeah, want and, fit, like and fitting in with whatever yeah. assessment yeah. tools you use. And developed it further. So what I've got now is I've got a pick up and go sheet. We've got visual training programme and then the outcome. Obviously, I, I, t I make them smart. Mm. you know um so based on so I'm in attending what am I looking from from Eliza for this term so this is termly then a very simple description so based on you know your you know how you've used your language and then I love absolutely love your observation points mm. on if I'm being honest they're probably critical because that's the feedback that you're going to receive from your mm. school so what we used to do is we used to go in and we used to deliver it and then leave mm. um and obviously it's great because obviously you know we were skilled at doing that but if your child's feeling tired that day the yeah. absent that day something else is going on in the room and the distract sometimes it's not the best time all the time and actually what you want is you want to integrate um positive looking in the day really mm -hmm. um so what we ended up doing is we ended up developing um the school's um capacity really to deliver these programs um themselves with us overseeing and modeling you know mm -hmm. and then we've and then i've developed we've um developed a visual training monitoring record it comes to their report yeah I come in i'll do an fea i'll do a functional vision assessment but i've got all of this information from the programs ongoing you didn't yeah you yeah. know in terms of having it as our backdrop mm. and then we've got our program that we kind of run and, and it and obviously it it adjusts as that child makes progress really yeah. and we review that obviously we're monitoring it we'll review it on a on a timely basis yeah. our children are making really good progress 